show you how to work the slope bind off, which is a really nice alternative to the stair steppy bind off that you can see when you're working on neck shaping of a sweater or armhole sleeve shaping of a sweater. I'm going to show you a close up example. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here's an example of uh, what normal uh, arm shaping or you know sleeve cap shaping or neck shaping can look like when you're working on binding off stitches at the beginning of every row, at least when it, the, you have this left-leaning slope like this. You end up with these stair steps, and this is the sloped bind off, which you're binding off the same number of stitches, but things end up looking much smoother, and it does make it easier for seaming, because you're not trying to seam a stair step into, you know, a stair step sleeve cap into a, into a sleeve, a sleeve cap into the armhole. This is a lot easier because you can just work uh, with the stitches at a smooth edge. So let me show you how to work it. It's a really simple modification to normal shaping. I am going to go ahead and bind off six stitches. And I'm going to knit the rest of the way across. You'll follow your pattern, of course. I'm pretending that this is like stockinette shaping that I'm doing. And that would be all you would do if, if you're working the normal stair steppy decreases. That would be all you'd do. You'd purl back and just bind off more stitches. But there's just one little trick. I'm going to purl back up to the last stitch. Okay, this is where the technique actually comes in. Purl back up to the last stitch and slip that stitch. Then turn the work. We only slipped it there to make it easier because I'm going to slip two stitches. And when I say slip, I mean put your needle in as if to purl and slide it over. We're going to do that on both stitches. And I'm going to bind off uh, three this time. And I'm going to do that with these stitches that I just slipped. That's how you skip the stair steppy bit. I'm going to show you that again. You just knit across as normal to the end. And this is for a left leaning slope. I'll give instructions for both left and right leaning in the video description field as well as on my website. So I'm purling up to the last stitch. And instead of purling that last stitch, I'm just going to slip it to the right needle, turn the work, and then slip two stitches to the right needle, and that is my first bind off. And let's go ahead and stop there and take a look. You can see how beautiful and sloped that is. It looks really good. It's very, very different looking than the stair steppy one. This is for a left-leaning slope, and I'll give you instructions for uh, right-leaning slope, which is really just exactly the same, except for you might want to bind off purl-wise um, uh, on the back of the work, or yeah, on the back of the work to get the slope going the other direction. Anyway, I think this is a great technique. I can't wait to use it. I hope you enjoy it too. Good luck.